Hello everyone, this is Evan Abrams, and in this series, this Learn From The Pros series, I'm gonna show you my favorite application for making beautiful video projects. It's Adobe After Effects. While most folks might know me from the EC Abrams tutorial channel, I've been creating motion design for clients for about a decade now, and almost every day I'm opening up After Effects and doing something in this program. So Adobe has asked me to share with you some of the joys of getting into Adobe After Effects to walk you through your first steps and to get you comfortable with making things in this amazing program. So what is After Effects? Well, it's many things to many people, and depending on where you're coming from can really change how you view the program. At its core, After Effects is a compositor. It combines various sources, video, images, vector graphics, and things you can make right inside the application, and it makes those all into one video clip. Some people think of it as a visual effects suite, and there are a lot of great visual effects things you can do. But someone else might think of this as a motion design application for making lower thirds and titles and little animated GIFs or character animation. We can generate so much with shape layers and text layers and particle effects. Both of these approaches are correct, and depending on where you're coming from and what you want to do with the application, you'll view it a little bit differently. After Effects really lives at the intersection of a lot of disciplines. For someone who is primarily a video editor and working in Premiere, a lot of this might seem familiar. We're working with video, we're laying them out on a timeline, and there are a lot of similar parts and terms in here. For a video editor, this might be where they make complex titles or where they create custom lower thirds. It might be where they treat specific individual clips before returning to Premiere. But there are many, many roads that can lead you to After Effects. An illustrator might create gorgeous characters in Photoshop and Illustrator and then bring them into After Effects to animate them to life. A photographer can take their wonderful still images and then add depth and push a camera through them. A DJ or music producer might create visualizers to release and promote a new album with elements animating automatically to the music. An app designer might bring in their wireframes and prototypes and show how the micro interactions would work for presenting this app concept to clients. And of course, motion designers like myself are creating all manner of abstract and narrative pieces that are sometimes made completely inside of After Effects. Personally, I'm something of a generalist. I think of it as a way to solve visual communication problems. So that means maybe one week I'm creating a promotional video using archival footage and moving through it to show the passage of time. And the next week I'm animating charts and graphs and an infographic. And then after that, we're making characters to go in an explainer video. There's this expression that if the only tool you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. But with After Effects, it's kind of like having a garage of tools. So every problem to me looks like something I can solve with After Effects. So please follow along in this series as we get more into After Effects. I show you around the interface and get you making stuff. I'm Evan Abrams for Adobe Creative Cloud, and thanks for watching.